We're on Main Street today with Franz the Bear. Today is Live PC, Give PC, a 24-hour event of giving to the many organizations and nonprofits that make Park City so awesome. Let's check it out. I'm here with Katie Wright, the executive director of Live PC, Give PC. We're at the headquarters, which are at High West. Katie, could you tell me a little bit about this event, why it's so important? So the Park City Community Foundation puts this event on every year. It's actually our fifth year. And the goal is to raise money for nonprofits, to connect them with new donors, and also to raise awareness of all the good work that nonprofits do in our community. We've already raised $600,000. Um, we have a big goal this year, which is to raise $1,234,567. But we're halfway there and we're feeling really good. The community is incredibly generous. We've had over 2,000 people participate so far today. That's incredible. And anyone can participate, right? It's open to everyone in the community? Absolutely. That's the whole idea of it, is that anyone, um, and almost everyone, can make a $10 donation. And that's the minimum. Of course, we have people who give a lot more. But think about what is my good life here in Park City? Do I love the trails, summer concerts? And what type of community do I want to live in? One that has food banks for the poor, health care access for those who do not have it. And that's the type of community Park City is. Today is the day to say thank you to the nonprofit that make all of that possible by making a donation. And I know a lot of people were really disappointed about the education bond not passing. Have you noticed a surge in support for education programs? You know, that's actually a really interesting question. Um, I haven't looked at it very recently, but earlier in the day, we have a leaderboard that's for the arts and for education, and Park City Education was in the number one position. They do something very creative on this day, which I absolutely love. They let every school choose a project, and then they fundraise for that project. So I know McPollin is looking for one of those water fountains that you can fill your water bottle with. So they're doing well. Phenomenal organization. I have no idea if it's related to the bond or not, but it's nice to see them in first place. I'm here with a bunch of students from the high school here. Just tell me a little bit about why Give PC is so important and your involvement in it. It's just important because we need community scholarships for our seniors. It's also a good way to donate to the community and the cheer squad and other events. Um, it helps us out and it keeps our school running and it's just a good way to get involved with the high school. Um, yeah, I think we're doing pretty well raising um, as much money as we can and just trying to let people know what's going on and inform people about what Live PC, Get PC is. We're here at the corner of Comstock and Kearns with Tiffany Barton, who's a lone soldier out here supporting Live PC, Give PC. Can you tell us a little bit about why you're out here and supporting this cause? So we're out here supporting McPullen Elementary School. Um, we're hoping to raise funds for a new water filtration system for our school. <laughs> for our school, um, we had um, Park Silly Market donated uh, water bottles for the entire school during our fall festival. So now we're trying to get a water filtration system. I think it's a, a wonderful way to donate. We're on the corner of Park Avenue with Jeb, Andrew, and Nick. They're out here supporting Live PC, Give PC. Can you guys tell me a little bit about why you're out here, why this matters, how you're helping the community? Yeah, uh, we're here with Ski Butlers uh, representing our company. Uh, we sponsored the event and all of us have been out here today working in shifts, um, just doing it to support the community and all the local nonprofits in the area. It's an awesome cause and we're definitely stoked to be a part of it. It's a community we care about, we love the slopes, and uh, yeah, we're just trying to support the community. So come out, give our time, give what we can. Just moved here and just want to see what it's all about, give a little bit to the community. It's a pretty cool day, how are you guys holding up? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Our buddy Nick here though, we're a little worried about him. He looks a little chilly, but he's, uh, he's holding it down. Yeah, you're just in a sweatshirt. But it must matter a lot to you then if you're out here still supporting it. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> they fed us coffee and donuts. They're treating us really well. So we're staying warm and full belly, so we're good. Yeah, there's a little bit of snow out here, but I feel like it's just encouraging everyone. We're just ready to ski, right? <laughs> One of the many reasons that we love Park City and we're excited to make a difference, right? Absolutely. We're here with Wasatch Backcountry Rescue Friends and the Abbey Dogs. Can you guys tell us a little bit about why today is important and how Live PC, Give PC is helping you out? 
Well, Wasatch Backcountry Rescue does a lot of um, rescues in the wintertime with avalanche dogs and just rescues in the backcountry. And to get that training, it costs money. And we need to do a lot of training and it's constant training with these dogs to keep them certified. And so your donations today help pay to keep the dogs trained and to train us how to do better rescues. Yeah, we'd like to uh, just kind of raise awareness to uh, what we do to just help the skiing public through the winter time. And what does training these dogs entail? Um, it entails quite a bit, you know, as these dogs get raised uh, from puppies, they're constantly being trained, uh, you know, to find people buried beneath the snow. So um, there's a lot of time and, and effort that goes into training these dogs. And, WBR is a nonprofit organization. We appreciate any donations anybody's willing to give. So today's a big day for you guys. How can people help throughout the year? Um, we do have a website you can go where look on. We post on quite a bit with what we do with the dogs, the different trainings, the events we do. Um, we have a donations button on our page you can donate. Or with training, we always need people. We bury people in the snow for our dogs to find them in the winter time. So we take volunteers and services as well. I'm here with Jennifer and Lindsay at the Recycling Center, one of the many organizations that are participating in the Live PC, Give PC. Can you guys tell me a little bit about what's happening today at the center? We have a lot going on here at the center. Uh, we've had our Christmas crafts that are being made from recycled corks that people have dropped off here at the center. Um, we have honkin' waves with our amazing super volunteers dressed up in hazmat suits that have been jazzed up by uh, past volunteers and students who have been in here at the center and they're standing out on the corner of Kearns and Woodbine Way waving at um, cars as they pass and uh, yelling when they honk at them. It's a good thing. Okay, and what, what have you got going over here? A little reindeer building? These are reindeer made from recycled corks that have been dropped off into our cork spin here from people who have come to the, come to the center. Yeah, they're adorable. This is a single day of giving where the, the residents of this community gather and give back to their community, right? They really invest in the organizations and the people who work to make this community a place that is world renowned and people travel all over the world to come to and visit and live. So it's really an, an, a personal investment in the community and that, that simply and truly is why this day is so important. I'm here with Mike Ruzik at the headquarters of Live PC, Give PC. You've got a lot of volunteers out here today. About how many do you think you have and how are they helping to contribute? I think there's about 17,000 volunteers. Just kidding. Um, you know, I'm not quite certain. I would, I would assume hundreds. The 86 plus organizations that give 24-7, 365 to all of us to make this place what it is. And this is one day for us to give back to them and to show them the support that we care and appreciate what they do for us and to make Park City the place that we love. It's been another successful 24 hours of living and giving PC. Be sure to donate throughout the year so you can contribute to this great community that we call Park City. Hey!